NGOs have studied all the new regulations that Mecca is putting out and has noticed that they all have one thing in common, and that is the promotion of the interests of development, developers as opposed to the rights of residents, the rights to a good quality of life, uh, health to live in a healthy atmosphere, especially as regards air, light and air quality. Residents are being condemned to live uh, without natural light, to live in uh, artificial light all day, uh, because of all the tall buildings that, and the uh, tall uh, hotels that are to be allowed by these new uh, regulations. The increase of traffic is obviously going to generate a much higher rate of toxic emissions um, trapped within Malta's na uh, narrow streets. And these, are, these contribute directly to conditions like uh, cancer, asthma, uh, heart disease, even Alzheimer's. So these are the issues that worry us. This is why we are calling this protest on uh, Saturday, 30th November at 10.30 at Citygate Valletta, because we feel that the residents of Malta's communities are being shortchanged. These are many NGOs, it's not just... It, it, this is organised by nine core NGOs and a great many resident associations and groups who are all outraged by the uh, violation of our rights as residents, of the destruction of our heritage street, streetscapes, of our iconic landscapes as at Mistra, and of the just the very health, healthy atmosphere that is being eroded and that is so precious to us and especially our children. Thank you.